If you are a non-native species, Africa may seem like the hardest continents to infiltrate. African ecosystems are often very competitive, and the African continent is home to many large predators, whether they be on land, in the water, or in the skies. Despite this, Africa does have a very real invasive species problem, and the invasive species in Africa are threatening the native species, and are also having negative effects on farming and the economy. Luckily, there are quite a few predators in Africa that can fight against invasive species, and a lot of these predators are in fact birds. In this video, I will be going through just a few of these impressive dinosaurs, as I will be going through three African birds that help control invasive species. Our first problem species is an interesting bird in its own right, and it is the common miner. This medium-sized bird is native to Asia, and is known for being very hardy and intelligent. They are found in both open woodland and urban areas, and are known for having a strong territorial instinct. They are able to adapt to almost any ecosystem, and one of the reasons behind this is that they feed on a wide variety of foods. They'll eat anything from fruits to insects and small lizards, and in some cases will feed on other birds and their eggs. This means that they can have a massive negative effect on other bird species, and this is one of the reasons why they're such a problem invasive species. If you're living in Australia, New Zealand, or Florida, you might already be aware of this bird. That's because the common miner is one of the worst invasive species in the world, and is found in quite a few countries outside of its native range. It has been introduced into Africa on a few different occasions, but the majority of these birds are found in South Africa. They were thought to be first introduced here in the year 1900, and since this time their numbers have multiplied, and their population is now thought to be in the millions. This of course has had massive negative effects on the ecosystem, and the negative effects are mostly felt by other birds. The common miner is known to push eggs out of birds' nests, and it also targets other birds' young. As well as this, they feed on all the same foods that the native birds do, and they also have a negative effect on farming by eating crops. In some areas, it seems like their numbers are almost out of control, but there are plenty of native birds of prey that will tackle these birds. The bird of prey that I've chosen to focus on in this video is one of the most striking, and it goes by the name of Batalur. This magnificent bird is a medium-sized eagle, and is considered to be a relative of the snake eagles. This bird is thought to be the origin of the Zimbabwe bird, which is the national emblem of Zimbabwe. One of the most striking things about this bird is its red face and its red feet, and these body parts will change colour depending on the bird's mood. When this bird is calm or relaxed, its skin is generally pale, but when it feels excited or threatened, its skin will change to bright red. This bird of prey feeds on a wide variety of foods, but is most often seen feeding on carrion. This may trick some people into thinking that they're only scavengers, but these birds are very effective hunters in their own right. They'll feed on small mammals, lizards, and snakes, but a large part of their diet is also made up of birds. Their most common prey birds are doves, hornbills, and kingfishers, but in some parts of northern South Africa, they're known to feed on common miners. The efforts of this bird and also the efforts of the other birds of prey in Africa may help control the common miners' numbers, but we certainly aren't helping them out. The Batalur is currently listed as endangered, and most of the reasons behind this are human-related. Their habitat is being destroyed at an alarming rate, and many of these birds are poisoned by farmers. Surprisingly, these farmers are damaging their own livelihoods, because a decrease in the number of these majestic birds will lead to an increase in pest birds. These pest birds will happily eat the farmers' crops, and this is especially the case with the common miner. This is why it's so important to protect native species, because it's not only good for the overall ecosystem, but it's also good for the economy. Our next problem species isn't one species in particular, but is instead a group of invasive animals. There is a rather small list of invasive reptiles in Africa, but the majority of these invasive reptiles are geckos. Geckos are usually very agile and effective insect hunters, and it's very easy for them to travel around the world. Because they are so small and often live close to us humans, they easily find their way onto boats and planes. This often leads to them being unintentionally introduced into many countries around the world, and this is exactly what happened in Africa. The majority of invasive geckos in Africa originally come from Asia, and these geckos compete with a large number of native African animals. Because the majority of geckos feed on insects and are also quite territorial, the worst affected native creatures are the native lizards and the native insect-eating birds. Luckily for these creatures, there is a native bird that is more than happy to fight back, and this bird is one of the most unique birds in Africa. The secretary bird is a mostly terrestrial bird of prey, and is endemic to Africa. It's most often found in open grasslands and savannas, and in these areas it appears to be strutting around with swagger. One of the first things you may notice about this bird is its very long legs. These long legs can help it reach a height of around 1.3 meters, and they also help them find and dispatch their prey. Because they are so tall, they can often see over long grasses, 
and this helps them easily identify their prey. In some cases, they target very dangerous prey such as snakes, and to dispatch them, they use their legs to kick them in the head. This is a very effective way of targeting such dangerous prey, and really reptiles do make up a large part of their diet. When these impressive birds come across invasive geckos, they're more than happy to take them out, and compared to what they usually eat, this is relatively easy prey. Unfortunately, once again, these birds are also listed as endangered, and if you want to get rid of more invasive species in Africa, you need more of these birds. They aren't only good at taking out invasive reptiles, as they will also take out invasive mammals, so it really is important that we protect these birds of prey. So not only is this bird very impressive, but it's also very useful, and hopefully their population will increase in the near future. If you head into the fresh waters of Africa, you will find plenty of invasive species, as large parts of Africa have been invaded by North American, European, and Asian fish. There are obviously quite a few I could have featured in this video, but I've chosen to go with a species that most Americans will be aware of. The silver carp is another species that's been named as one of the worst invasive species in the world, as it seems to take over almost all ecosystems it's introduced into. This species has caused massive problems in North America, and as they are filter feeders, they easily outcompete the native species. They can completely eat up all the nutrients in the freshwater ecosystem and leave little food for the other fish. They also breed at an astonishing rate, and once they've become established, they're very hard to get rid of. Strangely, this fish's introduction is a relatively recent introduction, as they were first introduced into South Africa in 1975. They were introduced into South Africa as a possible farming fish, but just like in many other places around the world, these fish were either released or found their own way into a freshwater ecosystem. These fish have not only proven to have negative effects on the native species, but they also have negative effects on the local fisheries. The fresh waters of Africa are home to many species that will happily prey on these fish, but for the silver carp there is also danger from the air. The African fish eagle is a relatively large species of sea eagle, and is found throughout sub-Saharan Africa. This eagle looks very similar to the bald eagle, and although they live very similar lives to each other, its closest relative is thought to be the critically endangered Madagascar fish eagle. The African fish eagle does exhibit some sexual dimorphism, as the females are usually larger than the males. These females can have a wingspan of around 2.4 meters, and this size makes them a very formidable bird that shouldn't be messed with. As you might be able to guess by this bird's name, it is an expert fish hunter, but fish aren't the only thing that this bird feeds on. They are a master of freshwater ecosystems and will even target large prey such as crocodiles and flamingos. As well as this, they are known to bully and harass larger birds, such as goliath herons and saddle-billed storks. When they are not stealing food, they will happily hunt on their own, and in some cases, they will hunt silver carp and other invasive fish. They often swoop down from a perch to snatch fish, and they are capable of carrying very large fish. Unlike the other two birds of prey, the African fish eagle's numbers are stable, and hopefully this means that they can help control invasive species for many years to come. If you know of any other African birds that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.